A new era of Star Wars adventures are set to hit the small screen. Disney has now revealed the latest plans for their upcoming Star Wars TV shows. A handful of returning and new series are set to drop in 2022 and early 2023. Obi-Wan Kenobi, of course, which we've talked about. You're seeing that here. That'll debut next week, followed by Andor, based on Diego Luna's character from Rogue One. Season 3 of The Mandalorian is also on the way, as is a spin-off series, Ahsoka, with Rosario Dawson. The Acolyte is another intriguing series that was announced. It will venture into some newer territory in the Star Wars universe, specifically the High Republic era, set about 100 years before The Phantom Menace. Not much is known about the newly announced show so far, and reports are saying that we won't be seeing Star Wars in... <laughs> He's so excited. He's so excited that Darth Vader himself... Uh, no. Reports are saying that uh, we won't be seeing Star Wars in theaters until at least the end of next year. Uh, that'll presumably be starting with Taika Waititi's Star Wars films, Patty Jenkins also working on a Rogue Squadron movie, which is still slated for 2023, and Lucasfilm confirmed they are still planning on a new film trilogy from Ryan Johnson, although that's kind of been uh, delayed oh, because gosh. he's working on um, Knives Out. Robert, no, that's cool. Just show it. <laughs> let's go. Let's show, show everybody. <laughs> he's genuinely laughing. Rarely do we get a laugh like that from Robert. He's, I know he's just so titillated by the Star Wars news. He, okay, he question from focus. an idiot, from a plebe over here. Are we getting into MCU territory of too much of it, or are we are oh, absolutely we've been there. Absolutely, been there. we've been there for think, ten yeah, years. We've been there. We've been there for a long time. Okay. I will say a lot of the series We're that they're doing. Just digging our heels in on this, then. The, the the series the series that they've been doing on Disney Plus are actually pretty good. Uh -huh. They've been pretty good, um, which doesn't bother me. But um, Mandalorian, Mandalorian was good. Amazing. Yeah, Mandalorian was good. I I, I, I liked Boba Fett. Fett. Okay. Some people yeah. yeah didn't really like it so much. Um, curious. I think the Obi Wan. Uh, series looks pretty cool, and that's just like a six-part miniseries, and uh, some of the other shows we'll see. But I, I do believe that they'll start venturing into uh, territory where people are just like burned out on Star Wars type content. Uh, I, gotta be I, real I don't know. I, I, I was see. so much of a fan of Star Wars in like 1999 and 2000 mm -hmm. that I tried to convince my mom to let me get a Jedi braid. I was luckily, praying <laughs> that's not what you were about to say. Well, luckily, I didn't do it. I, oh, I was, I was so no smart. way. There's no way. I hate it. I also it. little rat tail. So yeah, gross. there's no way. I did a rat tail. tail. Oh, yeah, there's, it's a, yeah. There was a kid. It was the side the of the Padawan. Right, right yeah, there, the yeah. Padawan. There yeah. was a kid who I was in middle school with who did have one. Yeah, are they cool now? He actually beat me up. Well. With his, with his, with his, with me, with with his Michael Scott yeah. got me. back from Jamaica yeah. Brain. Oh, yeah. Ow. Yeah. Ouch. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Strangled you but, with it. But he, I, he's I, actually I, an extra now in the uh, new Avatar movie. That's oh. right. Yeah. <laughs> it got longer. It's, a, <laughs> it's, it's an X-rated film. He's been connecting with yeah, other yeah, yeah, Avatars. Right. Anyway, it. so um, you better not make fun of him because they'll beat you up. So, uh, uh, the, but, uh, so I'm just trying to say how much I love Star Wars and it. how, <laughs> yeah, it just really knocked me off my, really, I can't use the force anymore to figure out what I was trying to say. The, um, no, but the, it's like, I loved it so much and now it's just like, God, it means so little to me. Oh, oh. stop. It does. I feel bad stop saying it. that, but it's like, I just don't. I love, I, I loved it too. I, I do agree. It's like, sometimes it's just like. It's tedious. It, you get, yeah, you get to a down. point where it's just like it's like too much to keep up with, and this is kind of like what I felt, what it, which I tried to tell it's you like guys too about the, almost, the Doctor right? Strange movie. Right. I feel like we're getting to that point in Marvel where it's just like if you don't see everything and you're not plugged into everything, you're never gonna understand anything from here on out. And I don't really like that. I think that kind of ruins the the fun of it. Yeah, because now um, I can't go see. Now I can't watch WandaVision. But to be fair, Spider-Man is in well. the MCU uh, MCU universe. Of it Marvel. is now. Yeah, they are. yeah, it is, right? Yeah, it is um, and Andrew cried out the latest one. That's and true. that's a little saturated. That movie is considered saturated. Did you just want to bring so that much. up? Yeah, it's true. But no, you're right. You're not it wrong. It goes to show that even if something is oversaturated, you could still ev evoke some emotion from somebody. Yeah, if it's there. a good story, it depends on if it's a good story. If the storytelling is good, it doesn't ma really matter what, what, how you package it. Um, but just, uh, you do reach a point where, especially now, and I kind of felt this too with the with the Spider Man movie. Uh, keep in mind, I was pretty hungover and, and tired, so like that's maybe part of the why I cried. But the the thing that happens in all these movies now is like they are a parade of all of the IP for mm -hmm. two and a half hours, where you just wait for a Disney creative to come along and say, "Hey, look at this one. Remember mm -hmm. this one? Okay. Hey, we got this one now. What do you mm -hmm. think of this one?" Mm -hmm. huh? Here's another one. You know, it's just like, uh, yeah, okay. But what what is actually happening? You know, I don't know. Right, it's yeah. just, huh? it feels lazy, kind of. 
Just trying to think of anything, any series I've loved so much I will watch every spinoff and I can't. Game of Thrones. You're going to watch the Game of Thrones. But you that's like so, that's Thank like, you. but that is, that is also like so recent in it comparison is. to like all the other stuff that kind of like lives. And it's really a yeah. pretty much a very linear thing. I know they're going to do a spinoff now, but yeah. there's the book, there's the show. There's not... 45 years of Game of Thrones. There will be. There will be. Probably, but not yet.